I got a good video right here. 25 scary but true space facts. I'm a massive fan of space. Let's jump straight into this one. What we got? Let's see. In Man space, out of space. No one can hear you scream. Uh, or can they? Sometimes the universe serves up some pretty horrifying scenarios. Lucky we're safe here on Earth. Yep. Right? So we are. Welcome to Fact Nominal. And we're showing you just how terrifying the universe right, can great. be in 25 great. scary but true uh, space facts. We are going to struggle to sleep tonight. Straight out of a 70s B-grade horror. It's not just people that eat each other. Okay. There are many cases in the universe where a galaxy can collide Great. with another yeah. one nice. or multiple galaxies. Nice, sick. Research has found that larger galaxies collide with smaller ones. It's like a Gorio! nine billion years. Our universe is on track to collide with the Andromeda galaxy in about four billion years, almost certainly destroying all life forms in oh, our great. galaxy. Yeah, sick. Just something to look forward to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I'm going to be four no billion years old. In space. Contrary to what many Hollywood films may have you believe, there is no sound in space. Due to there being no yep. particles for sound to bounce off, space is completely silent. The only exception would be if you were in the middle of a fairly dense gas cloud. It's so quiet. If you were able to float through space unaffected by the radiation, extreme cold, it'd be so weird oxygen, being that quiet. The silence would drive you mad. Yeah, it would. It really would. Twenty-three rogue planets can escape the gravity of their parent stars. This doesn't sound too scary. Times the size God of Jupiter, damn. rocketing through space at thirty million miles per hour. Aye, that, at some point, <laughs> one of these well, planets you put might it collide like with Earth, and it goes without saying. It will be pretty catastrophic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just avoid that. Sun falls off in space. This fact may scare uh. the germaphobes of the world. It turns out, after a month in orbit, chunks of your feet uh. start falling off. Calluses and dead skin just start floating off your foot after a while. Yeah, no thanks. 21, oh, the that's biggest just weird. planet in the universe. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system, but is dwarfed by the size of the largest planet astronomers have That's found. That's crazy in the universe. to think about. The Dennis P planet is about 28.5 times the mass of Jupiter. That's it's mad. It's currently classified as a gas giant like our Jupiter, but many astronomers suggest it should be classified as a brown dwarf star because of its massive size. 20. The hottest and brightest supernova. A supernova occurs when a star dies and explodes, yep. expelling an enormous amount of light, heat, and radiation. So sick. The Assassin 15LH is the hottest and most luminous Why is it called Assassin? astronomers have ever found. At current measurement, the explosion reached about 100 billion Kelvin. For comparison, Straight Earth's past my temperature head. is about 288 <laughs> Kelvin. It also shone at a brightness of 570 billion solar luminosity. About twice I don't as even know what these words mean. Other that goes the straight in my head. Discovered so far. 19. Floating space corpses? Right. Yep. In yeah, the that's early it. days yeah. of space travel, many animals, including cats, dogs, and a chimpanzee, were sent up to the great unknown. What? Some of these animals and some humans didn't make it back. Joining oh, the thousands right, okay. of tons of space junk hurling around our planet. I was going to say, and we're just sending off dead animals into enough, space. Without oxygen, bodies don't decompose. So this means space is littered with oh, that just looks great. frozen corpses. <laughs> 18. White hole. Theoretically, it is possible for white holes to exist in space. They're the opposite of black holes in that nothing can enter into a white hole from the outside. Everything, including light, can escape from them. Huh? There are theories that every galaxy has a supermassive black hole at its center, and every supermassive black hole spawns a white hole. 17. What? what How does when you that fall work? Into a black hole? We've all heard of black holes. Oh, the amount of videos I've watched on this. Into one? There are only theories as to what would happen. One theory is that it may split your reality into two parts. Yeah. In one part, you'll be spaghettified and killed immediately, and in the, the other, you're unharmed. Book. This is because time doesn't work the same near black holes as Bro, on Earth. Bro, it's crazy Either to way, think. I wouldn't try it if I were you. 
16. I want to. It is theorized that opposite to the Big Bang, which started the universe, it may mad. end with the Big Crunch. This theory suggests that the universe will start to shrink and collapse to its earliest state. The Big Rip Theory suggests the universe won't stop expanding and at one point everything will be torn apart at an atomic level. Sounds like fun. 15. The Dark Ca flow. You just can't even one think about it. galaxy chilling at the edges of the universe. The next you are sucked into who knows where. A phenomenon called the Dark Flow keeps pulling chunks of galaxies into unknown places. And huh? we don't know why. It's very reassuring. 14. Unexpected Meteors In 2013, 400 people were injured after a meteorite exploded in Russia. Yeah. As it turns out, meteors can just fall at any moment. Th this is crazy Earth, because I... Massive destruction and me meteors could just come out at any point. Sometimes the sky really is falling. 13. The moon will leave us. Every oh, year, no. the moon gets four centimeters farther away from the Earth. This doesn't sound like a big deal. But it could have devastating effects in the distant future. False Implicating tides, water levels, and potentially slowing down the speed of Earth's rotation. What happens 12, when it moves Venus five centimeters one year? While Mars is seen as somewhat inhabitable by humans, one planet we definitely won't be visiting soon is Venus. As it turns out, the surface temperature is around 500 degrees Jesus Celsius. Jesus Christ. Its atmospheric pressure is 90 times that of Earth, and it's constantly raining down acid rain. Oh, uh, yeah. So I don't think it will be a popular holiday destination. <laughs> Anyone want to go the Venus? Technology to go there. The death of our solar system. Oh, great. Yeah, we yeah, have nice. theories of how our nice. universe will end. But what about our solar system? One day, when the sun's hydrogen is gone, it will expand into a red giant and consume our solar that looks system. Sick. Destroying it completely. Oh, but that is going to kill us. It, it looks SPF sick. 4 billion. 10. Space without a spacesuit. If you venture Bro, out into who's space going without a into suit, space without a suit? Most 15 seconds before losing consciousness from lack of oxygen. No shit. That's if you're lucky. If you don't expel all the air from your lungs, you will die within seconds from the vacuum rupturing your lung. So, if you find yourself floating through the vastness of space without a spacesuit, I wouldn't hold my I breath. wasn't planning on Nine, it, mate. Kelt 9B. Kelt is this? B is I've heard the of highest this. planet we have found outside our solar system. Its surface temperature is about 4,600 Kelvins. Bang. Just shy of 5,800 Kelvin temperature of our sun. What does that mean? This planet gets its red-hot summers from its close orbit to its parent star, Kelt 9. 8. The average temperature of space. Scientists have worked out that the net temperature of space is essentially zero. To be precise, it is around minus 270 degrees ah! Celsius or minus 454 what? degrees Fahrenheit. That comes That's out how to 2.73 Kelvin. I knew it was cold, but I didn't realize that how cold. The temperature possible being zero Kelvin. Seven, the night sky will get dark forever. Go outside at night and you'll find a sky full of stars most of the time. Yeah. However, this may not always be the case, according to various scientists. In a matter of a trillion years from now, the sky at night will go totally black why forever just because of the distance even if there are aliens we may never find them no With we the will please in my lifetime in universe, yes most of which contain planets it's almost impossible that there aren't extraterrestrials 100 percent there however we haven't found them yet and we might never find them 100 percent now out there 100 percent are moving away from each other meaning without faster than light travel intergalactic exploration may not be possible Five. Wait to run Solar the moment. Wait to run the moment. Solar superstorms rising loops of electrified gas reaching 100,000 kilometers high could wipe out Earth's communication satellites and disrupt aircraft technology. We are due for one soon, too, as they occur <laughs> once every one or two hundred years, with the last one hitting what? Earth in 1859. Might want to get a Faraday cage for your cell phone, just in case. Four. Hold on! Hold on. There's going to be one soon? Wait, it kind of flew past my head. I was kind of a little bit distracted. What the hell happens when... Comment down below what will happen when um, a solar superstorm happens. Like, what will we expect? Like, what happened in the 1800s? Uh, that's interesting. I, can't, I might watch a video of um, the 1800s uh, solar superstorm and see what happened then so I can uh, prepare myself for the next one.
<laughs> That's crazy, bro. Or survival rate of space. Out of 430 people who have gone to space, 18 have never made it home. Rest in peace. That is a pretty bad survival rate, making space travel the most dangerous mode of transportation so far. Still, space travel is becoming much safer than it used to be. 3. Dark Matter We have only witnessed less than 5% of the matter the universe is made of, the other 95% being dark matter and dark energy yep. that we cannot see or understand yet. So Crazy, until we man. figure out what dark matter is all about, there is still so much to learn about the material makeup Crazy. of the universe. Two, rogue black holes. If the rogue planets didn't sound scary enough, there are rogue black holes as well. In fact, astronomers have found such a Jupiter-sized black hole present in our galaxy. Mm. I wouldn't worry though. It's only speeding through space at about three million miles per Great. hour. Great. Yeah, yeah. Nice. One, yeah. Quasars. Don't worry. Quasars are some of the most powerful celestial objects we currently know of. These celestial objects are found at the center of many active galaxies and are the most powerful, energetic, it and luminous sick. objects we know of. One quasar emits more than a thousand times the energy of our Milky Way. Wow. There we go. 25 scary but true space facts. That was pretty cool to be fair. Uh, I'm definitely interested about the superstorm because that's, that's like round the corner. So that's pretty interesting. I might do some research on uh, what happened in the 1800s. I wonder if it's just like extremely hot and stuff. I, I'm actually curious to see what will happen there. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that video. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought as well. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy. And subscribe for more daily reactions. I'll see you guys in the next video.